Hello everyone. Under normal circumstances, this would be winter graduation week at the University of Aberdeen. We'd all be wearing our gowns and caps, and you'd be walking across the stage for me to doff you on the head to mark the fact that this is your graduation day, with huge cheers from your family and friends. Of course, under the current circumstances, it's not possible to have our graduation ceremonies in the normal way, but it's still absolutely a time to celebrate. In fact, your achievement is especially remarkable this year because it's been done under extraordinary circumstances. All our students have shown amazing resilience and perseverance, despite these difficulties, to achieve outstanding academic success. So today I'm delighted to congratulate you on that success. We here at Aberdeen are very proud of what you've achieved. We're still planning to have proper traditional graduation ceremonies when the circumstances allow. So we hope to see you with your friends and family so that in due course, we can all celebrate together. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for. Dear engineering graduates, welcome to the graduation ceremony. A very unusual one, but everything is very unusual these days. I am standing just in front of Fraser Noble building, can now take my mask off, I am outside, put my glasses on, masks and glasses never work together, you know this. So now congratulations to all of you. You all worked long and very hard and learned a great deal to get where you are today. For many of you, the journey to this point will have required substantial personal sacrifice. Congratulations also to your parents and families. Their love, support and encouragement have enabled you to succeed. Today, you are joining a very long line of Aberdeen graduates, men and women who have studied here before you and who have gone to enrich the lives of those around them. More than 500 years of learning, inquiry, curiosity and discovery. More than 500 years of thinking and of putting those ideas into practice. And now you are heading into the same wide world, unknown world of your futures and as those Abertonian graduates before you. You are facing a world with many technological, environmental and societal challenges. These great challenges of the 21st century may seem daunting to you. But when you consider what has been achieved by your predecessors over just last 100 years, you've got to believe that these challenges are within your capability to overcome. Many things we take for granted today. Planes, television, lasers, antibiotics, medical imaging, computers, the internet were achieved within the last 100 years by creative engineers and scientists just like you and have since changed virtually every aspect of human life. You too can forge new pathways to solve problems. In the world of fake news, post-truths and alternative facts, finding right solutions has never been more important. Whatever you do and wherever you go, remember that and remember that your university was founded more than five centuries ago with the purpose of being open to all and dedicated to pursuit of truth in the services of others. What an excellent motto. If we all start using this as a guiding principle in all our professional lives, this world will very soon be a better place. Your degree will not only change your life, but has a potential to change the lives of others. So use it well. Many congratulations once again to all of you, to all our graduates. 
We are extremely proud of you and we wish you all every happiness and success. Enjoy your graduation day. Higher degrees and awards by research. Doctor of Philosophy. Misa Johnson Akura. Suoda Chu. Stefan Kovac. Giovanni Manoharan. Craig Moyer. Ijiomo Oluchukwu Okeki. Sadiq Lafta Salmin Omeri. Chibuzo Chimbuogo Onyamar. Tony Saba. Magub Mohammed Ali Sali. Madava Solanga Arachichi. Solanga Arachichi. Master of Science, taught programs, advanced chemical engineering. Oluwa Fayukemi, Antoinette Adedapo Aisida. Julia Tamuwanegi Ibifiri Alaibo. Darlington Amadi. Mohammed Islam Mohammed. Mahmoud El Nashar. Ariel. Jamila Joaquin Neves, Chakudi Yengi Emi Nwezi, Andrea Richmond, Zanyu Zhou, Advanced Mechanical Engineering, Angus Stuart Gibson, Zheng Guo, Mohammed Husnain Jawid, Jugu Godwin Nabulu, Alistair Wilson, Advanced Structural Engineering Paul Kwame Dente Harun Du Begensh Nepisov Decommissioning Julian Brandon Atkinson Emily Ann Blackburn Richard Cox Michael William Miller Rathapon Sritapan Bo Simon Walsh Global Subsea Engineering Stuart Dara Offshore Engineering Aser Salah Saber Awad Lars Harling Ichao Lee Olayinka Abiola Oliedi Oil and Gas Engineering Samuel Wisdom Antwi Andre Gavrilou Talgat Gubashe Josefina Martini Arapopoulos Nikolaos, Gina Rad, Nur Sultan Sadikov, Ilya Sarantopoulos, Anthony Buana Toroy, Eladios Selidis, Said Abdul Hamid Yaya, Petroleum Engineer, Joshua Akuna, Zahir Khalid Chaloub Al Mohseni, Saif Al Malabdullah, Richard Asma, Rahi Makanim Babayeva, Emmanuel Tefor Buama, Alexandru Botezatu, Oladipo Oluwoli Buari, Vitor Jose Campos Bourbon, Nicolaos Diamantakis, Mustafa Donmez, Tara El Tania, Abdel Razik Elfar, Edgar Omar Espana Villalon, Aidan Pio Farugia, Brian Fitzpatrick, Guillermo Fosil Arias, Jose Mauricio Garcia Roman, Claudia Yvonne Gonzalez Saya, Eli Heaton, Rhiannon Annette Hill, Aristoteles Huerta Escalante, Ines Alberto Hoya, Inhanathan Jothinathan, Alexander Emmett McAllister, James McGill, Ujwal Malik, George Elambo and Kang, Michael Oluwadamabola Obolo, Michael Ekpali Ode, Doyen Sola Oluwasean Oduwali, Vineshwar Ramesh, Esther Caroline Randolph Atufa, Kang Zin Ren, Mohamed Dek Sabrie, Ratifan Tamjidi, Panuta Thusawain, Antonios Stavros Triantos, Michael Oputa Tunji Ekpeti, Philip Marcin 
Wojcierowski, Edward White, Prince Henry Wood, Javid Zahidi. Process Safety, Badria Khalid Kamis Saeed Al Dukhli, Zuwabda Salim Al Shaidi, Alam Abdullah Saeed Al Shuali, Shen Wei Hu, Ryan Roche, Ali Saleh. Project Management Daniel John Adams, Stephen Mbugua Kabuku, George Walker. Renewable Energy Engineering Gyanendra Prasad Acharya, Said Salem S. Al Shere, Alvaro Martin Arendondo Aparicio, Matthew Barnott. Melis Cazo, Vanderson Ferreira Costa, Zaozi Q, Dylan Duncan, Harry Goodson, Imad Samir Sabri Kalaf, Olua Tosin Dolapo Likinyo, Jiwe Liu, Victor Muxi, Ugwachi Urubuchi Omareji, Edgar Rufus. Prisgoda, Luis Angel Resendiz Fatio, Alexander James Salucci, Yuki Zhu. Safety and Reliability Engineering, Abdulaziz Suleiman Abdullahi, Fanny Fogarasi, Ismailia Kwamena. Safety and Reliability Engineering for Oil and Gas. Jeffrey Jonah Agbogun, Nathan Roland Dapa, Vineshwara Jagannathan Baskaran, Henry Chukwudi Orime, Cheng Ban, Sanjay Vyas. Subsea Engineering, Pulkit Agarwal, Olomide Olalaye Fatokun, Mohammed Fawaz, John Herman Mayer. Shamanth Nair Nagesh, Samuel Umam Wenretten Onaiwi, Frederick Opoku Gyeke, Fifi Nyarko Otu, Manuel Iwan Plazas Puentes, Yadukrishnan Sathisan, Solomon Raj Stevens. Postgraduate Diplomas Renewable Energy Engineering. Yana Christina Constantine. Subsea Engineering. Alexander Olayemi Ogodipe. Postgraduate Certificates. Oil and Gas Structural Engineering. Azar Mayet. Ulvi Ramanli. Safety and Reliability Engineering. Ikena Ikekwe. Undergraduate Degrees and Awards Bachelor of Engineering Honours Degrees Chemical Engineering Emma Olivia Anna Vizuri Mechanical Engineering Ahmed El Sayed Soliman Abuel Fetu Nasar Petroleum Engineering Judy Al Mohammed Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Chemical Engineering, Deborah Almada, Cameron Gilly, Hashim Janwa, Walid Kalaf, Ne Tetain, Civil Engineering, Emma Winchester, Engineering, Shingiskan Yazan. Mechanical Engineering Brody Cooper Murray Jameson Grant Great Daniel S. A. Kaite Hi, I am John Kavanagh. I'm the Programme Coordinator for the MSc in uh, Project Management. I was asked to uh, say a few words to you today 
um, on, on your graduation. It's, it's actually the, uh, the first time I've been asked to do that, but in many ways it, it's the least that I can do to uh, recognise your, your outstanding achievement in graduating with a, an, an MSc in, in, in project management. I, I, I certainly have to congratulate you for an outstanding achievement. Well done. Uh, it's a really, really proud moment for you, yourselves, I'm sure, but, but also for, for your family members and loved ones who stood by you and supported you and helped you along the way. Um, I'm sure there's been many, many challenges that you've had to face, sure academic ones, but also other challenges associated with your, your personal life, your, the fact that you're balancing a, a busy life, busy jobs, with, with trying to do a, a qualification, really, really difficult. In some cases, I know students have also wrestled with physical and mental health challenges, but you've overcome them, you've overcome them all, and, and you're standing here now uh, with, your, with your degree, you've, you've graduated, and it's just fantastic news, well done. Uh, looking forward, I, 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 I'm envious of all you, the fact that you've got uh, your, your whole future ahead of you, an MSc in, in project management can open, open many, many doors for you. And I hope you seek out and find these opportunities to, 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 to make use of your qualification. Opportunities that perhaps wouldn't have been available to you before. As I said, an MSc can, can open many doors. But don't forget, you have to go out there and find the doors. You have to turn the hand and you have to push at them to get what you want. But I'm sure you will. You've managed to achieve incredible things by, by graduating. So I'm sure you'll continue that moving forward. So finally, I'd like to conclude by, by saying, um, well done, fantastic achievement. And I wish you the very, very best. I wish you all the luck all the health and all the happiness in whatever you do as you continue through life's journey. Dear graduates, the masters of decommissioning, my name is Alf Martinez Felipe and I am the new masters coordinator and on my own behalf and on behalf of my colleague and friend Dr. David Begamasa and on behalf of all the teaching team I would like to congratulate you on this fantastic achievement. I would also like to thank you for picking us to continue your formation. These are unprecedented times that require unprecedented solutions by unprecedented people, and you are one of a kind. I hope that our multidisciplinary program with people from very different backgrounds and countries may have helped you face the challenges that we all have ahead and continue to drive our energy transition into economies that are fairer but are still sustainable and reliable. I also hope that you become excellent Aberdeen ambassadors and you know that you can call Aberdeen your home. You can always rely on us and you know where you can find a bunch of new friends and people who always be willing to help as much as we can. And in the meantime, Please let me congratulate you again and wish you the best of the luck for your future in both personal and professional grounds. All the best. Hello to all the students who have recently finished the master program, whether it's subsidy, decommissioning, safety, offshore. Global Subsidy, not to forget, all of my students, I would like to wish you congratulations for achieving this under such difficult conditions. You made it. I know it's not ideal to have a message like this instead of a nice ceremony where you can come with your families and meet and, you know, we see you up close. I want to wish you all the best for the next steps. I know there are difficult times ahead and a lot of you will be looking for work. Be patient. Things will improve. And please, please, whenever you pass through here, don't forget, come and see us, say hello, because every time a class leaves, you know, a part of us lives with them and we always miss you and we always remember you. Thank you very much and congratulations again for the successful completion of your master's program. Hello, class of 2020. 
on behalf of the School of Engineering, I would like to congratulate you for earning a degree in oil and gas engineering. This is a major accomplishment and reflects your hard work at this difficult time. We are so proud of you and we wish you all the best for your new journey. Hello, my name is Tatsi. I am the program coordinator for MSc Petroleum Engineering at the University of Aberdeen. On behalf of my colleagues, I would like to say a big congratulations to all the MSc Petroleum Engineering students who have graduated in this uh, academic year, uh, year 2020. Uh, this is a well-deserved success and uh, aware that the November 2020 graduation ceremony will not be holding on campus um, as it used to be, but rather it's going to be online graduation ceremony. This is a true reflection of the uh, challenging times due to the COVID-19. Um, however, uh, I am very, very hopeful that the experience, the knowledge and the skills that you've acquired during the course of your studies at the University of Aberdeen uh, will continue to serve you in good stead. Uh, once again, I would like to so a very big congratulations to all of you and um, we look forward to um, meeting up with you again in the nearest future. Congratulations to you all. Bye-bye. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. This moment may have been in your dreams for a long time and now it comes true. In your memories, you may still have those lectures, tutorials, and meetings online or on campus, by the computer or in the lab. Those sleepless nights, you were working on assignments in Sir Duncan Rice Library. It was an absolute legend. Each of your journey towards graduation may be different, and I will give regards to the solid friendship you built up during these years. That friendship could be part of your life later. One of my graduates told me that he thought about thanking all the friends with whom he started this journey. It was a overwhelming sense of belonging that his friends gave him, and he wanted to thank every one of them personally. However, COVID-19 has made our goodbyes rather abrupt. Now, well done, Class 2020. I applaud for the attributes you have achieved through these years. In academic excellence, in critical thinking and effective communication, in learning and self-development, as well as active citizenship. Thank you for being part of the university family. Your hard work with us pushed the university into the top 20 in the UK. Your life in the future will keep impacting the community here. Hope you will always be full of dreams as you are today. To your future, I share with you the motto of the University of Aberdeen for mutual encouragement. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Looking forward to shake hands with you soon and our post-pandemic reunion. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. Knowing all the challenges you worked through this year to get to this day. I'm sure today will be only the first of 
many proud and successful moments for you. Can't wait to see where life will take you next. Wherever it is, stay in touch. Hello everyone. Congratulations on your graduation and all the best. Dear graduates, I feel very privileged and honored to deliver this address to you today and I promise to be brief. Today we are celebrating your graduation. First of all, many congratulations. You survived the lockdowns and the new norm of studying and working in pandemics and you have made it. It took a lot of hard work, dedication and personal sacrifices and you should be proud. Many congratulations also to your families, your partners and your friends. All those people who supported you through your studies shared with you all the difficult and all the happy moments, gave you their love and encouragement, their sympathy and understanding. I know that you, our graduates, the same as we, the university staff, are very grateful to them for helping you to get to the celebration today. You have graduated today from the University of Aberdeen, a university which has a very long, successful and powerful history. It's a university which treats its staff and students as family. And you are now part of this family and part of its history. Over our 525 years in business, we produced five Nobel Prize winners. Our alumni are living in 170 countries today and they are contributing hugely to the society and so will you. We know that there is a bright future and exciting opportunity waiting for you. And we know that you also will take all the knowledge, skills, determination and values in the world and you will play your part and achieve great things. We are confident that you will. As we all learned in the last few months, it's, it is much easier to stay in touch in our digital world. And we hope that you will and also that you will remember your time in Aberdeen and keep friends you have met here for life. Come and visit us sometimes. Let us know about changes in your life and your successes. We know there will be many and that you will make us proud. We know that you are a new generation of people who will bring the new discoveries and transformation into the world. And we're confident that you are ready for the challenges which lie ahead. I would like to finish this address with a famous quote and an old saying. 19th century American essayist and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, Don't follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. And the old Russian saying goes, Learning is light, ignorance and darkness. Go out in the world and carry this light with you whenever you go. Good luck and congratulations to you all.